Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing up the man. She's always got some plays for you guys today out of the Saints playbook. I gotta give uh, my Saints followers their weekly video. Uh, it seems like that's pretty much what I do. I try to give a weekly video dedicated to the Saints or the Raiders uh, because I know they're two of the more popular books. I've been putting out a lot of stuff from the Niners lately uh, just because I've been using the Niners. But if you guys like that I'm focusing on the more popular books, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I will continue to do that. Other than that, if you guys want to see some custom books, I'm, I'm I got a lot of really good uh, custom playbook schemes but I really want to I really got to know if you guys uh, if I would put out plays from I'm not custom playbooks I'm sorry from uh, alternate playbooks if you guys would like to see plays from alternate offensive playbooks uh, I got to know that you guys would actually be able to use them I try to stay away from that because I know a lot of people that run custom playbooks you can't even put alternate playbooks in those plays so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see me keeping with this or you guys would like to see stuff out of like the west coast the running gun stuff like that the play that I'm going to show today I'm going to start this video off today that's really the uh, the you know the the reason for this video is the hitch corners. Now you don't have to be in the Saints playbook to find this play. You don't even have to be in the gun empty trio, which is also called like the the gun five wide receiver and stuff like that. This form this play can be found in probably several different formations that goes under several different names. It's called the hitch corners, the hitch, the smash, uh, the smash hitch, <laughs> the smash corners. It has a million different names and it's in a million different playbooks under a million different formations. So if you guys like this play and you don't run the Saints that's fine you can probably find this in your favorite playbook so dig deep look for a play that looks just like this uh, and like I said it can really beat just about any defense in the game so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pick that then on the defensive side we're gonna do what we always do we start cover two zone work our way back to uh, you know through the zone coverages three four and then we'll work our way to man coverage so let's go and let's pick cover two so like I said this particular play uh, it's really a Swiss Army knife there's so many different things you can do with this play mostly because of these post routes and these corner routes um, there's just a million different things you can do now against cover two zone uh the easiest thing to do is just put the a route on a streak that alone will make the uh the it's going to be a home run route based off of the fact that you have the rb route and the y route really pulling the safeties apart uh the only thing i would say you could do is if you could put like the b route on a slant or put them on an in or something like that that's really just to get the user's attention so they don't follow the a route all the way back but this is going to be one of the easier uh plays in this particular formation based off of that fact that there's just i mean i don't really have speed the tight end that i would want that i would typically have have say on my mutt team or whatever but there's a million different things you could do to make this play successful and the easiest one against cover two is just to split those safeties and just you know basically hit that tight end right over the middle now you could also work the outside receivers as well you can do that same setup drag the b route drag the x route and the uh the outside receivers i mean really nothing here will get covered i mean <laughs> ultimately cover two is not really uh the best defense when it comes to uh you know to anything really which is why a lot of people don't really, really run cover two zones now against cover three there's not really really like a dink and dunk version like there is against cover two um you know if i streak these outside routes uh, a lot of times like these these outside uh corner routes can still kind of be outside but the windows are kind of tight uh it's a much more explosive play though there's a couple different things you could do to make this a one play touchdown against cover three um that you can you know easily do which would be preferential anyway motion across the b route that's one put the b route and the a route uh on streaks um if you can smart route uh, these outside uh, receivers like the RB route and the Y route, that'd be best, although the Y route doesn't really work out that way. Uh, but I'm, when I say, you know, if, I mean, if it's like second and five, third and five, you can smart route them and they'll be much shorter. Um, that's really going to help to pull coverages. So you can do it like this, and now you can see the tight end goes up the seam here uh, really easily, but that's not even really the best play. That's like a good play, but you can easily create a one-play touchdown out of this um, by motioning in this other receiver here put him on a streak and then put the Y route on a smart route once again. This is going to be one of the better ways to do it. Now you have a uh, one play touchdown to the receiver rather than a one play touchdown to the tight end or rather a big a big play to the seam to the tight end. As you can see this X route here uh, is going to beat uh, the other side. So it's a really, you know, you could do that to either side but it's a very similar concept. You could do the same trick with the drag too. You could drag uh, the X route 
and it's going to have a similar effect as it did on the cover too as you can see right here i mean my main goal is to move that safety across when i motion across this b route the safety uh kind of comes with me it doesn't really do that if i motion in the x route so that's why the x route is kind of the better way to go but if i motion this guy across i mean it's not really going to change anything i'm still going to have an explosive play with this particular setup so here we go one more time like i said this b right here is still going to be key as you can see i mean it's just not as big and i don't have as much speed to uh to this particular receiver as i might like on another team this doesn't the Saints don't really have the fastest team I have a gameplay somewhere of me using this play. Um, hit the like button if you guys want to see a gameplay of this. Like I said, it's a really versatile play. It doesn't really matter what defense you're going against. Uh, the next play that I'm going to go against, I'm going to try to pick a, uh, a cover four. So this play can really dot up some cover four zones. you got a couple of different options. You can motion over the tight end here. Um, if I motion him across and I put the X route on a slant and then I put the Y route on a streak, this is going to uh, create a lot of space uh, for the tight end. We can just basically dive up outside. Uh, you can do something similar on the other side as well. I mean, you don't really have to motion across the uh, the B route. You can really just slant the X route and you can see like the, the cover four corner really comes inside. Then you can really have, you have a passing lane. You can dot that cover four up. But you can do the same trick with the drag. Every time you put a drag underneath, it has the same effect where it pulls the cornerback in and then gives you space to the outside. No matter what zone it is, the drag trick works. Cover two, cover two, cover three, cover four. You can put this uh, outside receiver on a drag. You just typically want to make sure whatever side of the field you're running this play to or you're pre-diagnosing where you want to go with the ball that you're running it to the open side of the field. Now, I would say that the glitchiest this gets is probably against cover four, uh, cover four match, which is a defense. Like I said, I use this a lot, and I'm trying to focus more on coverage beaters because I just put out a defensive video um, that's getting a ton of views about cover four quarters defenses. There's a lot of ways to glitch cover four quarters defenses that people just don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. To glitch this is super simple. I'm just going to motion across the RB route here. Put the B route, the X route, and the A route all on comeback routes. That's all you really have to do. And this RB route is just going to get uh, super broken on the route. As you can see, nothing out here is covering it at all. Uh, which is, like I said, there's there's not a ton of coverage beers that people know. They're out there, but most people don't know how to beat this defense. It's not a hard defense to beat if you know how. There's a very easy way to do it. Um, you're basically just trying to turn uh, all these um, coverages into man coverages. That's pretty much the idea. So that's why I have, um, you know, specifically designed comeback routes, uh, you know, lined up in front of the four safeties, the four deep zones, because I want them to basically stick to those. And then the RB route here just gets lost in translation, uh, which is why this def this play works so well. Uh, but if somebody's running that, and I'm sure it's becoming a more popular defense online, this is going to absolutely smoke it. Now, when it comes to, uh, you know, you have your, your cover, uh, cover nine, show two, cover uh, six inverts, um, cover sixes and stuff like that. Half the defense is a cover two, cover three cloud. You have you have half the defense is a cover two, half the defense is a cover three. So you really just have to locate, you know, which side of the field is the specific defense you want to attack and then run the setup. Now this play is pretty much a zone specific play. Um, you know, you really can't do a ton of the, as far as man beaters go, it's really just going to be like, you know, slants and drags. Uh, the check downs become the main read. So if you put like the B route and the X route on like a slant and a drag, that's pretty much going to be uh, what you get. As you can see right here, like the slant or the drag is going to be open. So there's nothing really special or unique about that. You do have the RB route does have uh, the opportunity to get open as you can see right here. If he gets that initial uh, release off of the line of scrimmage, he can make some plays. And that could be, you know, a lot of people run nickels and dimes. Uh, dime defenses typically, people mostly run nickel coverages. So it's really just looking for space when it comes to the outside receiver. If he's matched up with like a linebacker like he is now, he'll probably eat that all game. Uh, but most people, like if you're playing mutt, they're, you're going to be lined up against the safety. But you can get some matchups like that if you're coming out in five wide receiver sets uh, against like normal defenses like nickel defenses. But as far as the uh, man beating concepts, uh, there's really three plays. I'm going to put them in my audibles to finish this video off. I'm going to put the jet touch pass, uh, which is already in the audible. Uh, then I'm going to put uh, the, the shallow cross. And then the last play uh, would be the, where's it at here, the double pivot. Those plays pretty much all work together. 
So as far as these plays go, I mean, I really like this run play. This run play, it might work better against zone coverages because typically when you run this against zones, uh, you'll have a blocking advantage. But it's a very good uh, run play. I run this a lot uh, in my in, in game plays when I do use books that have this particular play. Uh, the jet touch pass is very good. Like I said, against zones, you'll have three receivers on the right side and only two cornerbacks. Typically, there'll be a linebacker in the center of the field, and that'll give you a pretty good blocking advantage uh, to make some plays to the outside. Like I said, this is something usually catches opponents off guard they're usually not looking for that so that's a good option against man uh, but you also have the shallow cross which obviously the double drags is going to have success and then the double pivot the reason i put these in my audibles is because obviously they work together when you watch plays like the double pivot which accidentally flipped the play uh, instead of actually you know changing the play but the double pivot is uh designed to look like uh to look like drags when they start their their uh their zig routes they essentially start in and then work their way back out that's because they're it's, it's a you know it's essentially meant to trick your opponent trick the defense when you run just a straight up double shout or the uh, the double drags here they're going to get open first of all one of the two will get open pretty much every time and if that's the case typically only one gets open which means typically your opponent's going to start to try to use that so if they start to try to user the one drag that gets open, obviously it's not going to be too hard to figure out which one it is um, and try to take that away. That's when you can easily switch to the double pivot. So now we have a cover three look, which is going to be even more successful uh, because number one, like I said, when you do that, linebackers, you typically have a linebacker in the middle, which gives you a blocking advantage. You have three receivers and only two defensive players. So here you can see, like I said, it's a zone coverage. You have three receivers. You only have two defenders in front of them. Uh, you also have a cover three which is going to help out even more because typically the cover three cornerbacks drop back, which makes it even easier to get to the outside. So you would make this read very similar to a, uh, if, as if you were passing. It is a pass play at the end of the day. It is a jet touch pass. So if you read cover three or cover four, that's going to be the best opportunity uh, to hit this type of run because the cornerbacks are typically dropping back. So let's go ahead and let's end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays either out of the Saints or more just empty plays like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.